The human brain takes about 25 years to fully mature, but it's the first few years of life that are developmentally critical. That's right. New research shows a traumatic upbringing or a separation from a parent can be very harmful. Here's more in today's Parenting 101. Don't do these ones because I did it. Jody Castro and her five-year-old granddaughter Scarlett spend a lot of time together, just as she did with her own daughter. One of the things that I realize now that I'm a grandparent is like when you're raising your children, you're also teaching them how to raise your grandchildren. But what happens when parents are absent or children are separated from them? According to research, separation from a parent or caregiver is one of the biggest threats to early development, and that includes the separation of migrant families. They're not getting the emotional responses they need or the cognitive stimulation they need. Then regardless of whether the parent is there or not, that is still going to have a negative effect on brain and behavioral development. Professor Bick says the trauma experienced by children who have been separated can manifest itself in later life as adults who have trouble expressing emotions, difficulty relating to others, or anxiety. Bick says caregivers should realize the impact neglect or separation can have on the brain. Teach their children coping skills for stress and always pay close attention oh, yeah. to their kids' <laughs> signals. It's that back and forth between caregiver and child that can help kids develop develop the skills they need later in life. Parental interaction also helps children develop the internal regulation that they need to succeed in life when they are all grown up.